Hi everyone, it's Jane Mamalmi. Thanks so much for joining me. I am going to be putting together one of the layouts from the Sweet Girl Scrapbook subscription. I'm gonna do this layout number two here, and this is for the May subscription kits. I've already printed my photos here at the right sizes, so I've got, uh, I'm doing them a little bit different than shown here, so i um, showing you how to make your photos work with a pre-designed kit. And I'll be doing some, making some changes along the way, because I always do, to make the kit work for me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and separate all of the pieces that I need. I've already done a walkthrough of the kit. If you're interested, I'll link that below on everything that um, this kit comes with for all four months that I just got. Um, but right now I'm just gonna separate what I need for this kit and I'm gonna put the rest of it aside because that will be for the, um, the other kit, this one, which um, I'll do another time. So all of the stickers and die cuts are pre-labeled. So I'm just gonna separate them. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the die cuts just together like this and set them aside. And then this is for layout one, and I'm going to be using these for layout two. I've got the page protectors I'm gonna need here too, but I'm not gonna worry about those right now, so I'm gonna set all the rest of this aside, and I will get started. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and enjoy. All right, so I'm gonna start by backing my photos. And since I did use some different size photos than the layout had intended, I'm, I don't have a backer for every photo because the fourth backer is a two by three and I'm using a four by six instead. So the photos on the left work out just fine because those are two four by four photos as intended, but that one on the right doesn't have a backer. So what I did was I just cut my own mats out of Heather cardstock, which is the same color that's used on the other backers. And I ended up cutting two just so that they would match perfectly um, because the Heather cardstock was just a tiny, tiny bit different color than the backers that were provided. So I just wanted to make sure they matched exactly. Now, one of the things I run into the most if I'm going to be changing the orientation or the, the sizes of my photos is um, that I don't have enough of the photo mats that come with the kit. So typically I have a cardstock to match what was intended, but if I don't, like um, I think in the last video that I posted, I didn't have the exact color cardstock, and so I just changed it. And I only changed, um, let's see, I, I think, I don't even know if I changed all of them, but um, you can use a different color cardstock, something that you have on hand, even white or a different color that works with the layout that you're using. So don't worry if you don't have the exact colors that are in the layout, but um, you can get a card, a coordinating cardstock pack for each of the um, the kits for each month if you wanted to. You can also get the paper pack that goes along with these kits um, and extra embellishments and all that good stuff. But you can also use just the kit. Um, so what I'm showing you today is using just the kit and I'm adding, of course I added that cardstock and then I'm going to be adding some little extra embellishments first for sparkle and shine at the end and I'm going to be changing up my title using my Cricut. So these layouts look beautiful just on their own if you are going to use only the supplies that come in the kit or you can take it up a notch like I typically do, add some sparkle and shine and extra embellishments and just really add some wow factor. So um, you saw me put those stickers down on the, um, on the page and there are some basic instructions on how to assemble these pages and so one of the things is, that it mentions is to um, put the stickers down first before you start assembling because they go underneath and then for the rest of it I'm for the most part just eyeballing it I'm um, mostly following the placement of the embellishments but I'm changing it up just a little bit 
I'm adding some dimension with the 3D foam tape underneath some of the, the embellishments, like that little bunny. And um, I'm doing this little, um, I guess, subtitle tag and flowers as intended, but I moved that journaling spot. So the journaling spot I'm going to have under there, it originally was supposed to go in the top right um, where that 4x6 photo is because that was supposed to be a shorter 2x3 photo. And so now I don't have the space for the journaling spot there, but I thought that it looked nice over where I am putting it. So I journaled on it and I also am popping that up with some 3D foam. And then I'm going to start placing some of the other stickers. So this scalloped one here I'm placing as intended. So now that center bottom is a little bit heavy and I'm going to be um, evening that out with some of the other placement of embellishments that I put down, which for the most part are as was intended, but I'm changing it up just a little bit, keeping in mind um, that heaviness on the bottom. So I'm adding here some shimmer brush, which is my favorite way to add some sparkle and shine. It is so easy to add shimmer to anything and it doesn't add any bulk and you can see how it's catching the light right there. It's really hard to catch on camera usually, but my light is shining right on it and you can see that shine right now, which is lovely. So I'm going to be putting that on um, all of the flowers and a little bit on some of the leaves throughout this layout. And I didn't mention earlier when I started cutting out some of those die cuts, the die cuts leave like a little kind of nubby, <laughs> I want to call it, um, where you punch them out, like where it was connected to the paper. And so I like to go through and cut off those little spots as I punch the die cuts out. And I just do that all at once in the beginning and it doesn't take a whole lot of extra time. But a lot of people that doesn't bother. So if it doesn't bother you, then don't worry about it. But I just thought I'd mention it because I didn't show it. Adding some more sparkle. So I added two flower clusters here. Um, and I the one with the blue flower is bigger. So I swapped that with the smaller blue flower underneath the four by six photo because I wanted that extra heaviness up higher. And um, the one right there where I was just coloring, that is a smaller one because it's already near the bottom where it was heavier. So I swapped those out so that it, it added some weight to the top of the page. And you can see now there's kind of a visual triangle from that cluster on the left to the heaviness cluster on the bottom center and then the top right cluster. So this is what took the longest out of this whole project and you saw that I inked around the edges of that B first in gray ink. I was thinking I would like that to make it stand out a little bit more but I didn't which actually works out nicely because that would have taken a lot of extra time to ink around all the edges. Um, so I threw that away, cut it out again, and I am putting this custom Cricut title down. Um, it's working really well to use this dotted adhesive because it makes it like a sticker. At first I wasn't sure what I was going to use to glue down. I had out my fine tip liquid glass thinking maybe that would work, but the dotted adhesive worked really well to make it like a sticker. And, um, and then for the letters, um, like I mentioned, I cut them out on my Cricut and I am such a font nerd. It took me so long to figure out what font I wanted to use. And this font really is kind of a go-to for me. It's called Magnolia Sky and it is a free download from thefont.com. Um, but I tried a whole bunch of other ones. If you are not familiar with a website called wordmark.it, it is a website where you can put in your saying. So I put in blessed mama and then it shows you what that saying will look like in every font you have on your computer. So I could go through and select like four fonts that I liked and then compare close up just those four fonts and see what they look like and see if I liked that for my layout. 
So wordmark.it, I will link these sites below if that helps you. Um, so yeah, now I am, oh, and then I use the rub and, re re rub and mo remove eraser to get some of the um, extra adhesive off from behind the title. And now I'm going through and adding some sparkles, some silver glitter gems, some I Heart Us sequins, which are retired but still available for until they're gone, and some bitty sparkles just scattered throughout. I'm adding some gems to the center of some of the flowers that are not on 3D foam tape because I didn't want to add even more dimension to the ones that are on 3D foam tape. And um, kind of trying to keep in mind the rule of threes. I like the look of three embellishments in a cluster, and three sparkles. Now I'm adding some silver embellishing thread. And when it comes off of that card, when you unwrap it, it's kind of kinked up. So if you take your bone folder and slide it along the thread like you saw me do, and I'll do it again here in a minute, that gets those kinks out and it's really helpful. Um, and so I'm wrapping that into a little cluster, adhering it with a glue dot where they all meet, and then adding another glue dot and performing surgery and carefully stuffing it underneath that raised flower. So this would have been much easier if I had planned ahead of time, but it, it still worked. I used my piercing tool to really carefully um, raise up those um, 3D foam squares to get back under there. And I'm going to do that again underneath the bunny as well. And I think that it adds a really nice texture and of course some extra sparkle, which I'm all about the sparkle. I can't have a layout without sparkle. <laughs> so um, I think it looks nice to have that on both sides of the layout. So here I am very carefully adding some more um, or pulling up the 3D foam, stuffing it under there, and adhering it with an extra glue dot. So here are some close-ups of the layouts, and then I'll leave you with some still shots as well. I hope that you enjoyed this, and if you do, please subscribe to my channel. I am I do a lot of process videos for scrapbooking, card making, and um, I've been doing a lot of the, these craft with heart layouts which are so fun and so there's the, the cricket title there's some of the embellishing thread and here is that shine from the shimmer brush it's just so lovely so thank you again for joining me today and i hope that you have a great day